oh parang tabingi kayo guys if napanood niyo na if napanood niyo na Hi guys, this is Frazel. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you guys yung mga products na hindi ko nagustuhan. These products are locally available. Hindi ganun karami yung products na ipapakita ko sa inyo. Sila lang yung nasa collection ko na hindi ko talaga nagustuhan. Actually, some of the products here na review ko na. So, meron na kayong mga insight if you've been watching me for a while. Okay, so without further ado, I will go ahead and show you guys yung mga products na... Chaka. Hindi ko nagustuhan. I don't recommend. So, yeah. I'm gonna start with face products. Olay CC Cream. I did a review on this already, you guys. If nakita nyo na yung review na yun, alam nyo na yung thoughts ko about this. I don't think mag-work siya sa mga tao na may oily skin. Siguro kapag may dry skin ka, may possibility na mag-work sa'yo to. Hindi siya nagpo-provide ng coverage. Even light coverage, hindi siya nagpo-provide. And then, sabi din niya na na-minimize niya yung pores. This alone, hindi niya na-minimize yung pores ko. Parang nag-blur out lang yung pores ko nung nalagyan ko na siya ng powder. Okay, next one is the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer from Showil. I did a review on this already because this was requested by a viewer and this is really expensive. I think 99 lang to. And yes, it looks exactly like the Benefit um, product. Hindi niya na control yung, yung oil ko. Nung nireview ko to, one side of my face may primer, one side wala. Mas nagiging heavy yung face na may primer kasi thick yung consistency nito guys eh. Look ha. Yan. Super thick ng consistency niya and ano malagkit talaga siya sa mukha. So nag a add lang siya ng lagkit, hindi siya nagko-control ng oil. So hindi ko talaga siya nagustuhan. It did make my foundation stay longer, but hindi ko lang talaga bet yung parang malagkit na feeling tapos hindi naman nagko-control ng oil. If you have dry skin and you have foundation na hindi ganoon ka long lasting, you can use this. Plus nag a add din siya ng coverage ng konti lang naman, pero hindi lang talaga siya nag-work sa oily skin ko. Okay, next product is another one from Shawil. This is the CC cream. I did a review on this. Um, hindi naman sa sobrang pangit na itong product na to. Hindi siya yung best na CC cream na meron ako. First of all, hindi siya nagpo-provide ng coverage. Or maybe siguro kapag binild up mo siya, light coverage lang yung nagpo-provide niya. Plus, hindi siya match sa skin tone ko. So, konting mali ko lang. Like, mapadami lang siya ng konti. Sobrang puti ng mukha ko. Can you see this? Sobrang light niya sa skin tone ko. Ayun, wala na siya. Siguro kung perfect yung skin mo, I mean, who has perfect skin? Pero, alam mo yun, kapag hindi mo kailangan siguro ng coverage at all, and gusto mo lang makuha yung pang long-term effect ng CC cream, then yeah, you can use this. Me, if gagamit kasi ako ng CC cream, BB cream, gusto ko talaga at least nagpo-provide man lang siya ng coverage. Kasi kung hindi, edi hindi na lang ako maglalagay, di ba? Powder na lang. Okay, sa blush or bronzing powder naman tayo, I don't have like any chaka na blush. Eh. I have here Everbella na Blush Me Bronzing Powder. What I don't like about this, you guys, is the brush. Yung brush niya napaka gaspang, napaka uneven, ang hirap na gamitin, napaka late ng brush. Tapos wala kang control sa amount ng product na gusto mo. Yung actual product naman niya, okay naman. Hindi naman siya chaka. Yung applicator niya talaga is like a total mess, you guys. Hindi mo siya ma-apply ng maayos sa mukha mo kasi yung applicator itself napaka uneven. Pag nilagay ko siya sa mukha ko, nagiging patchy. Sabi ko nga, eh, natatanggal pa lang siya. Ngayon ko lang nalaman na natatanggal mo pala, eh, tetch. Yeah, the actual product, no problem at all. Maganda. Maganda yung pigmentation. But, isabay mo ito, tsaka. Okay, next one is the I Do I Puti, ano to? Eyelash Glue. This is from I Do. I think I Do, I Do, I Do. Yes, I Do. Meron tong kasamang maliit na pang ano ng crease, parang pang correct ng crease mo sa mata mo. Pero hindi ko yung ginagamit kasi napaka-hassle. Tapos ito, eyelash glue, it doesn't work as an eyelash glue at all, you guys. Ang daming beses ko na itong tinray, parang hinihintay ko siya na maging tacky. Kahit na maging tacky siya, hindi siya dumidikit. Super hard to work with, as in sobra. Gusto ko sana yung applicator niya kasi ganito, yung brush. Pero the product itself. Basta, natatanggal bigla. Parang hindi talaga siya nagsistay. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam. I do not know what's wrong with this but I don't like it and I don't want you to buy this. Sa lipstick naman tayo, you guys, I have three right here. I'm gonna start with the one I'm wearing right now. Yes, I am wearing it. It is the FS Luscious Lipstick in the shade Caramel. I did a review on this already. If napanood nyo na yung review, alam nyo na namumuumuo siya sa lips ko. Sinuot ko siya kasi again, napaka 
ganda ng shade niya. As you guys can see, sobrang nagugustuhan ko yung shade. Hindi ko lang talaga gusto yung formula. Kasi after ako kumain, namumuo ng over-over yung lipstick sa lips. And hindi talaga siya maganda. Lalo na kapag lumalabas ka. Tapos pagkatapos mong kumain, may mga buo-buong lipstick ka sa lips mo. And it's... Tsaka siya tingnan, sayang nga lang kasi ang ganda ng packaging niya, ang ganda ng kulay niya, napakaganda niya i-apply sa lips, napaka-smooth, napaka-creamy, pero tsaka ang formula. And may kamahalan din to, $299 for this tube of lipstick. Don't waste your $299 on this. Next lipsticks are from Nishidu. The first one is the Nishidu High Definition Lipstick in the shade Dolly Pink. This is free sa Nishidu set nila na merong eyeshadow tapos lipstick. Ito yung free na lipstick. Super patchy nito sa lips. Tapos kahit na anong gawin ko, hindi ko talaga ma-even out yung application niya sa lips ko. The more I swipe, the more na parang nagiging uneven yung lipstick tingnan sa lips ko. You will see that on my review kasi I showed a clip of me applying it on the lips. And I think this one is $199 kung bilhin mo siya separately. I'm not sure though. Last one is from Nishidu as well. This is the Nishidu Juicy Lips in the shade Apple Cider. I really like the shade of this as well. Pero same thing with the FS Luscious Lipstick na mumuumuo siya sa lips. Ito, super mura lang. 88 lang. So if you don't mind retouching every after you eat, then go ahead and buy it. Kasi 88 lang siya. Ako kasi hindi ako nagre-retouch. And hate na hate ko talaga yung mga, mga na mumuumuo uh, lipstick. This is the Beauty Formulas Dry Shampoo. Parang heavy yung formula niya. So, nagiging flat lalo yung buhok mo. Tapos, may wet look siya na ganap. It makes my hair look greasy and oily, which is so chaka. You don't want that. Kaya nga, nagda-dry shampoo ka para maging alive and kicking tingnan yung buhok mo. Hindi maging patay and oily, ba? I used this mga twice lang siguro kasi the first time I used it, I didn't like it at all. And the second time, gusto ko lang siyang itry ulit just to make sure na I don't like it talaga. Nabili ko to sa SM. I don't think Watson's has this. Nakakaloka do by this. It's Chaka. Another one from Nishidu. Nishidu. Nishidu though. This is the leg makeup. It is supposed to create a flawless skin texture on legs. Formulated to give good coverage and hide skin imperfections. It stays put until you want to take it off. It doesn't give my legs any coverage at all. Actually, hindi ko alam kung kanino to. Nakita ko lang to dito sa vanity ko. But I have this before and I did not repurchase it because obviously it didn't work out on me. Siguro sa kapatid ko to. But yeah, I just remember kasi na nagamit ko na to noon eh. And tinry ko siya ngayon just to make sure na tama pa rin ako. And yeah, wala siyang coverage na po-provide sa skin at all. Sabi pa niya dito, oh, good coverage daw. This is lying. You are lying. Hindi ka nagpo-provide ng good coverage. Para ka lang nag-add ng lotion. Kasi wala eh. Wala talaga siyang coverage. So if you're thinking of buying this to make your legs look flawless, do not buy it. It doesn't make it flawless. Niloloko ka lang nito. Save your money. I'm not sure how much this is actually. Pero... You don't need to ask. Just don't buy. That's basically it for my video. Yun lang muna yung mga products na hindi ko marerecommend. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. Please do like if it was. Subscribe if you're not yet already. Do not forget, be good. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.